Hey friends. Hey, I just wanted to share something with you, something that's been on my heart and my mind. A few years ago, I went to a Bible study at our old church, and the uh, title of the study was Knowing God. And I remember seeing something in there, I don't know if it was the first chapter, second chapter, but it struck me like a lightning bolt. What you call an epiphany. <clears throat> You know, for a long time, and I, I used to, I used to have a question in my mind, and I thought about this all the time. And uh, it may be, uh, I see other people question, and also see people, um, uh, pastors, etc., uh, refer to this. And what it is is, what is God's will for your life? I used to ask, what's God's will for my life? God, what is your will for my life? And I would search, I'd be frustrated, and I was always trying to, <clears throat> to look for that little voice. And how do you know that's God? How do you know there's a voice of God? Yeah, I don't know. You trust or whatever. But one of the things that uh, that book challenged was to think that maybe that's the wrong question. What is God's will for my life? is the wrong question. Consider that the proper question would be, what is God's will? What is God's will and can I change my life to be in it? Can I change my life to be in God's will? I mean, you know, it makes a lot of sense. He gave us free will. And he says, you know, when we talk about all the things we worry about, and, and God says in, in the scriptures that, you know, seek me first, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all those things we worry about will be added unto us. I mean, all those things we think we'll have a lack of will be added to, to us. So, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Don't seek, ye, don't seek ye first the purpose of your life. But seek first the kingdom of God. That makes a lot of sense to me. Well, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because, you know, when I changed over from thinking of what is God's will for my life to what is God's will and let me change my life to be in it, you know, that made a lot more sense. And, uh... It's funny that once I found, in certain ways, when I start seeking God's will, which is another subject, another story, how to do that. Uh, well, really, it's, it's God's will is found in His Word. God's will is found in uh, the Bible. Reading it and studying it, and I can only say that uh, because of the the challenge that my pastor gave me personally was to read more and study more of uh, God's Word in the Bible. And uh, I actually found a, uh, a little app that uh, is like an audible. It reads the Bible to me. And I might be listening to five chapters a day. Uh, there's a couple of uh, apps out there that'll be a mix of Old Testament, New Testament thrown in there, uh, or you can you know, listen to something sequentially uh, from Genesis on, and actually I'm doing both, so uh, it's just fascinating to be able to read it, but it's interesting, there's stories and all, and things I never really thought about that are in the Bible, um, it's kind of cool, seeking God's will and changing my life to be in it. Just food for thought for today. Take care. Love you. Bye.